What's going on RV goers? This is Cam Hillier from Miller's RV in Baton Rouge. And today I've got a leprechaun to show you, but it will not cost you a pot of gold to get into this one. All right, so before I show you this new product that we just started carrying, go ahead, like this video, hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notifications so you can stay updated with the best content that we have to offer and we can give you some insider secrets. So I wanna show you the Coachman Leprechaun. This is the 2023 Coachman Leprechaun 298 KB. So we just started carrying Coachman and if you guys know me, you know us, we're typically Winnebago folks and I'm usually really hot on Winnebago and I tell all my customers it's not just because it's, it's what we sell, it's what I grew up camping in for the most part. But man, I will say, I am impressed with this Coachman. It is beautiful, as you can see from behind us, but also a lot of the features that they have, even when comparing this to the Mini Winnie that we carry, there are a lot of features I really like on this. So I'm gonna point some out to you guys. We're gonna give you the full nine yards here, give you the full walkthrough. If there's any questions afterward, let us know. So we're gonna jump in. All right, so I wanna point out a couple things to start on the Coach here. So with this Leprechaun, we've got the full body paint. As you know with us, we typically like to order our, our products with all the options just so you have all the creature comfort features and all the beautiful things that make the RV nice. So I wanted to point out the full body paint. It's a beautiful color here. It's done really well. Now right off the bat, I'll point out something I don't really like. So the side view cameras here, side view cameras are a plus. We love to have side view cameras because it helps you drive a coach that's around 30, 31 feet like this. But what I do like about a Winnebago is that the side view cameras are mounted on the mirror. So I'm still, you know, I still got to point out the good and the bad. That's one thing I'm not a huge fan of. But I'll tell you something that I really, really like. The wheels that are on this Leprechaun are actually, I, I don't know, truly, I'm not going to lie. We just got this thing and got it washed and doing a video. I don't know if the wheels are aluminum or steel, but they're solid metal. It's real wheels in there. Instead of like on your, even the Winnebago's that we carry, even the Mini Winnie's, they have hubcaps instead. And I don't know, it, it, it makes it look a lot more sturdy and also I, I again if you don't have hubcaps you don't have to ever worry about the hubcap falling off like this is a real a real rim that you have there now this leprechaun that we have we have it upgraded with the sumo springs um you can see here they've got the the coachman super springs as well so it's got all the suspension upgrades that were available to us so this thing drives like a dream i've been really impressed with it it's got the new v8 chassis they're seeing on all the class c's and class a's that are gas now but I wanted to shift and show you actually uh, some of the other features whenever we turn around here. So this uh, RV not only has an outdoor TV, but instead of mounted outdoor speakers, it has an outdoor sound bar. All right, so check this out. So we've got our outdoor mounted TV here. So Hisense TV. So this actually, I, I, I'm not, I'm kind of a TV snob. So Hisense right at first, like, man, I don't know if the picture's gonna be great on this. I've got actually a TV on inside. It's got really good pictures. I'm, again, another thing that I'm really surprised with. So the sound bar here, couldn't tell you the brand of that, but you can do Bluetooth, uh, auxiliary, or you can just go straight to the TV. Uh, so that's a nice thing to have out here. Instead of just your normal speakers, you actually have solid sound bar here. Now you've got a good grip handle here. This is a nice feature to have. Since you don't have the entry steps that come out, it's nice to have a little extra support getting in. Now. The wheels, if you can see here, I just mentioned those, but I mean, those are just, they're beautiful. They look solid. They almost remind me of like American force wheels. They just look kind of like it's got a lot of power in it. But I want to shift around to the back side in a second and show you how big your storage compartment in the rear is. But I got to mention this awning too. I really like the white fabric underneath. It makes it feel cooler under here. I don't know if it's really like absorbing a lot of heat, but it feels nice. And also this is just a personal preference thing, but the LED lights that are on the awning, they're on the inside here, which I prefer. If they're on the, the bar, it, it kind of, it might look cool when it's out, but the cool thing about this, when you roll your awning in and you're at the campsite, you can still have these LED lights on. So it's still a nice little aesthetic boost and it's a really pretty thing. So we're gonna swing around the outside here and show you the storage part. This thing's huge. All right, so check this out. So we've got your storage compartment here. So you can see this is actually, you might, you probably see, it's passed through all the way underneath there. So you can put some long chairs, you can put uh, like one of the big gazebos. Really there's a lot that you can store here. So not only does it go all the way across, it also dips down for some bins there. Now to the left, we have another compartment here. We've got our power cord there. But what I found really interesting, I don't know if, if again, we just started carrying this Leprechaun, so I'm not sure if this is something they've done in years past, but these two compartments actually it's open in between them so what i thought the thought i had right when i saw it is okay so if i have like a long chair 
that maybe I don't want to shove that way or even or even a fishing rod so I don't want to stub my fishing rod underneath there and have a have a chance of it getting like smashed or something like that so instead I will put it here because it goes into that bin so like I, I don't know why it's so impressive to me it just seems like genius that this is all opened up to pass through so really a fan of that now you've got your dump stations there you've also got your generator and exhaust you know this has some sort of muffler on the generator so the generator is actually relatively quiet um, for what it is now also you can see up top we've got our slide toppers that already come on both the slides here that's good to keep the longevity of your rv and makes it where you don't have to get up and sweep this thing off before you pull your slides in every time so what we're gonna do we're gonna swing into the inside i'm gonna tell you guys again why i was wrong so we're gonna check out the inside of this leprechaun but i actually want to point out something that you see right when you walk in you've got a really nice cubby right here so it's great for shoes or dog leashes or you know, you name it, stuff that you don't want to keep outside overnight, you can just tuck it right there and not have to worry about getting the rest of the coach dirty. I like that. I also like that there's two steps up here. Um, and also you can see uh, you've got your leveling controls there. So you've got the Bigfoot leveling system on this, push button level, rock and roll. All right, so we're inside of the Leprechaun now. My first impression is a good one. It's really pretty in there. I think the fit and finish feels really nice. It looks really pretty. Um, there are a couple things I don't like as much, really, namely being uh, the Front seats are cloth. I don't love that. On your mini wing, they're going to be like a, a leatherette style material, so it's not going to, you know, that's not going to stain. But this is a little bit, a little bit easier to stain, probably. But what I do like about them is these chairs actually swivel. So your two front seats swivel, whereas on your mini Winnie, they do not swivel. So I like that. It adds extra seating. And also with your dinette that you have here, so you've got an L-shaped dinette right now. You can leave it like that if you want the more space, or you can add, I should say, just pull this out and turn it into a u-shaped dinette so now you've got seating for another so i like that of course you can drop this down into a bed i also have this attachment here and i haven't played around with it too much but what this looks like to me it's like cup holders and then um just a flat surface here i guess for like you know you just put stuff while you're traveling again i haven't played around with this too much but i think what this does slides right there so that whenever you're actually traveling going down the road you have cup holders so it slides right there swings this little leg out so two people who are sitting here, three people have cup holders, so their drinks aren't flying over the place. So I, I, I like that. I think that's very smart if that is what I think it is. So to my left, we've got the TV I was talking about. Earlier it was showing like this, I guess it was like a demo. It was showing all the colors. It was really, really impressive. Like I said, beforehand, I might not have been, you know, as like ticked on for, for Hisense, but it looks really good. I'm really impressed. It's a smart TV here. Now, this TV actually is on a mount as well, so you can move it, you know, any which way you want. So above me, we've got the option of the WineGuard 360 Plus on this. So that will work as your antenna, also gives you Wi-Fi capability. So that's a big plus for the current way that we've got things. So up in the front area, so like I said, I talked about some things that I did like, some things that I didn't. So another thing that I'm, it's not my favorite, um, but I, I, I guess maybe in hindsight, it might not be too bad. So you actually have two screens here, whereas on the Mini Winnie, you'll have one big screen that does like your cameras and everything else. With this, I guess the benefit of it would be you can keep the camera on while this is on like the navigation or something like that because you'll have CarPlay. Um, so it's a, it might work out well. So like I said, cameras here, radio there. Now you've got cruise control here, automatic headlights, heated and electric mirrors too. So it's got just about everything aside from the adaptive con cruise control. Um, but plenty of cup holders as well. Um, and then of course we've got the bunk behind me. So you can probably see that this actually has a window in the front. I like it for the light aspect. It adds a lot of natural light. There are huge windows over here towards the hallway. So it's a really light feel, even though you have dark interior. So that I'm a fan of. Um, and then of course you got a, uh, actually a fantastic fan, or I'm sorry, a max fan up here that can help ventilate as well. So we're gonna switch around so you can check out these recliners with seat belts. I forgot to mention all the seats in the dinettes have seat belts. It looks like maybe three or four seat belts here. And then your seatbelts in the recliners too. Now I didn't travel with seatbelts whenever we were growing up in RVs, but I know times have changed, so you've got it if you want them. Let's check it out. All right, so now that we've got it swiveled around, you can see the recliner seats here. So I really like these recliner seats. In time, we'll see how they do. But what I like about them, um, and compared to a lot of recliners there in other motorhomes, uh, these are electric. I, they're electric, they're heated, and they vibrate, and they have a cool little cup holder light three different brightness settings that's not bad um of course you've actually got storage in here as well for like your remotes for the tvs um no usb plugs inside i gotta, gotta have them somewhere 
Um, you've got your plugins here, though, so that, that suffices that. Now, to my left, you've actually got lit cabinets. I like that look. I think it's pretty sleek. Now, they're not automatic lights or anything. You just turn them off with one of these switches here. Yeah, but still, it, it adds a nice little accent to it. Now, we found out something crazy about this whenever we were doing, uh, we were just checking things out before we started rolling. So this fridge, not only does it open this way, the fridge and freezer, check this out. <laughs> it's a 12 volt fridge that opens both ways. I mean, I, I thought I thought, I thought, thought we broke it before the video. I mean, this is like, that's crazy. I don't know how I haven't seen this before, but that, that is really, really cool. So a big fridge that can open both ways. So, you know, I can grab, I can grab my Gatorade and my wife can grab, you know, whatever it is she's grabbing out of here. That's cool. I like that. Um, so behind me, we've got our kitchen area here. So if you watch our video on um, the Mini Winnie 26T, this floor plan is comparable to that. It's just a little bit bigger version. So, um, you know, preference is really in size on that one. One over the other really just comes to the small details. But I do like the kitchen area. This is a lot. So you've got three gas burners here. And of course this folds over so you can use this as like an extra countertop space. You've got an oven as well, which I think is pretty cool. A lot of the class C's that we carry don't really have ovens anymore. And also below here, you've got storage for pots and pans and what, what they have it. Also, a lot of times when you have an oven, you don't get convection microwave. This you have oven and convection microwave. Again, big thumbs up there. Another fan up here to help with your cooking. We've got one of our two AC units up top. So, um, or above me, I should say. So we've got one AC unit in the front and you've also got another AC unit in the back. Now you may ask, is this a 50 amp camper? No, this is actually a 30 amp camper. Can you run both of the generator? Yes, we have the generator running right now. I turned this one off so it's not so loud. We're running both the ACs. We have the TV going as well. And I, I think, the I don't know if the fridge is on or not. But yeah, it does great. You don't always have to run the two ACs because your, your first AC is ducted. So you can usually cool this thing depending on where you're camping at. In Louisiana, sometimes the two ACs just help get it cooled a little quicker. Um, back to the kitchen. So solid surface countertop. They actually already have the cutting boards here. And I mean, these are, these are solid. Uh, so you have a big deep sink with the, the sink cover. So add countertop space. And you've also got a flip up portion to give you even more. Probably, I, I don't know, probably like a foot and a half of that um, added space there. Big cabinet space. This will pull out. And then you've actually got some really useful plugs back here. Two USBs and two 110 plugs there. Impressed with the kitchen. It's nice roomy. It feels very, uh, it feels natural. That It's kind of like tucked in here on the corner. It's, it's got like, I'm not sure if you can tell in the, vin in the video, but it's got like a slight bend to it. So it feels very ergonomic. It feels like it's ready, you know, a good workspace to prepare a nice dish. So we're gonna jump into the hallway. You can see the natural light. And I'll show you the bedroom. You're gonna like this little surprise we've got for you. All right, so now before I walk into the bedroom, so we're to the left of the entry door. So when you walk in, you turn left. And this is where the bedroom area is here. Check out this window. So tons of natural light. TJ pointed out that this is like the best lighting we've had for a video. It's just, I guess, because you have the window up front, the big window here, the window in the dining space. It's just a lot of natural light. So like I said earlier, even with the dark interior, it feels really open. Um, so to my left, we've got a control panel here, so you can control your generator, your Wi-Fi can, can be controlled from here as well, um, and then you've got a gas and electric hot water heater, which I'm a big fan of, also tank heaters too. So now, actually, I got to point this out. So look at the storage that you have here. Storage, storage, storage in here. Tons of deep cabinets. You've got the ones that are in the kitchen here. You've got this, and then you've got like the counterpart to it that's in the bathroom. So we're gonna check into the bathroom. I've got two, or the bedroom. I've got two surprises for you back here. Check this out. All right, wow. So this is, wow, this is a king bed in this. Might be like RV queen since some of the measurements are smaller, but this is huge. So I compared earlier to the 26T and the Mini Winnie. This is the same concept, just a little bit bigger. Um, so instead of a queen bed, you get a king bed back here. Now you get a few more feet, which depending on you know who you are and how you're camping, it may be good, may not be. But I love this that you get a big bed windows on either side of the slide here um so when the slides in your bed folds over and the slide comes in but when it's out you can see out of both these windows so again more natural light so that's surprise number one surprise number two is the combo washer dryer unit that we have in here so not every day do you find a class c with a king bed a washer dryer and two acs in 
this is it's got a lot going for it. I'm impressed. Also, there's a mounting. Uh, I guess your studs right there. You can mount a, t a second TV in here, if, or really a third, because you have the one outside. You could add another TV right here if you wanted to as well. So I want to show you guys the bathroom. Now, how could I do that without showing you the closet here? Quick highlight, and then we'll jump into the bathroom. All right, so check this out. So your closet here, you've got mirror doors. Also, tons of hanging space here, and I actually have an upper shelf here. So you've got like a Jack and Jill. So you've got all the shoe space or extra folded clothes space up here, and then it's separated. Um, it's kind of hard to see, but it's separated right there. So on the other side, the other person can have all their stuff. Now down low, you've got four drawers down here where you can store socks or folded clothes. Um, that's actually, that's a pretty deep drawer. Um, right to the, like right next to where the slide goes out, you've got a 110 plug there. And I forgot to mention that on that side, you've got your 110 plug and also USB plugs there to charge your devices. Okay, so when looking at the bathroom, you're like, wow, this door is kind of close. It might hit the bed and you got to squeeze in to get there. But check this out. I have no idea architecturally what this door is called, but look at, look at that. So it opens to give you more space. It's like kind of like perfect space there. Um, and even when the slides in, you can still access the bathroom, which is a, of course, it's a necessity in an RV or in a motorhome. But so we have this cool style door here. It's really practical for using it, not as practical for videoing. So it's going to be a little bit hard for you to see. But you're just going to trust me on this. So the shower that's in this is really big shower. Um, so it's, it's for class C standards. It's a good size shower. Um, also, you've got like the kind of like tempered glass here. Um, so instead of the, I, I think I, I prefer the the mold free, mildew free little squeegee shower door, but this is still not bad. I, it, you know, if you prefer a solid shower door, this would be the one for you. Also, you've got a skylight up top here. So for taller people, you're gonna be just fine. And they've already got installed a little spot where you can put like your, your uh, soaps and shampoos and stuff. So when we were in the hallway, I showed you the big storage that you had. I mentioned that the counter part was in here. So on this side, you've got like a matching storage compartment that's, you know, about a foot deep and really good spacing there. Also, we've got a little bit smaller storage here. I guess toothbrush, toothpaste, stuff like that. And then storage underneath as well. Um, now this, we've got a porcelain toilet. So that's a plus. Um, and they actually have hangers for towels here. Um, another hang hanger for like a hand towel. And then you've got an above vent here. So all in all, it's, a, it's the end of window in the bathroom too. Of course, I had to mention that. So I, I like this. This door is really cool. Uh, it looks like something that you'd see like in like a modern house, I guess. I don't know. It's pretty sweet. So we're going to wrap up to the front. Just went up to the front and wrap this up. Alrighty, guys. So we appreciate you stopping by. Again, this is the 2023 Coachman Leprechaun 298 KB. So if you want some more info on the pricing and availability, check this beast out below. We're going to put a link to our website where you can see this and everything else that we have for sale, guys. We appreciate you stopping by. And as always, enjoy the journey. Hey there, thanks for watching this video. So we want to remind you again to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and turn on your post notifications so we can keep you updated with the best that the RV industry has to offer. If you want to stick around and watch some more videos, we've got a link for two videos here. So we'd love for you to stay and look at that. And if there's anything else that you want us to do videos on, leave comments. Thanks, guys. Enjoy the journey.